Good evening, everyone. Hello, I'm Abe Beeson. Welcome to a special streaming edition of our School of Jazz studio sessions. Tonight, we are thrilled to bring you the Tritone Trio from Bellarmine Preparatory School in Tacoma. The jazz band's under the direction of Casey Whitson, and this trio is playing with their mentor, Tracy Knope, on saxophone. Tracy is a multi-read player and a busy educator. He's a Northwest native who toured with Tommy Dorsey after college, and along the way worked with such luminaries as Louis Belson, Ray Charles, Buddy Rich, Mel Torme, The Temptations and the Four Tops, as well as the Seattle Symphony. He will continue performing with his own band and his friends out in public as soon as possible. We are honored to welcome Tracy Knope for this session tonight. Bellarmine Prep's Tritone Trio includes Henry Jacobson on piano and a pair of uh, students I met as part of the uh, KNKX School of Jazz guest DJ program just about a year ago, Aidan Moore on bass and Ian McCain Pitts drumming. I had a chance to catch these cats rehearsing last week, and let me just say, you're going to be impressed. You can check out their website now, tritonejazztacoma.com. We're going to be hearing some jazz classics and an original from one of the students tonight, and feel free to join us in the chat as we go. And now, let's get swinging with their mentor, Tracy Knope. This is the Tritone Trio with Recordame in the KNKX School of Jazz. Thank you.
Well, hot dog, I know I'm clapping at home. It's the Tritone Trio from Bellarmine Prep, streaming live from Tacoma. Henry Jacobson at the piano, Aiden Moore on bass, and Ian McCain Pitts drumming. Their mentor, saxophonist Tracy Knope, will join them again after a few minutes. Um, let's uh, get to meet the band a little bit first, and uh, the uh, jazz program at Bellarmine Prep. We'll begin with the band director, Casey Whitson. Uh, Casey, it's uh, great to have you here with us tonight. Can you tell us a little bit about how music education adapted to the pandemic at Bellarmine Prep? I understand you are back teaching in person. Uh, yeah, I am. Thanks, Abe, and thanks for having us. Um, I'm, I'm just one person. I mean, we're all in this together, and... I know that all my colleagues are going to continue to do the best they can to provide this service to students that we know is so important. Um, but boots on the ground, everybody's kind of been in their own situation. That's been, I think, the, the biggest hallmark. And uh, I think Bellarmine Admin deserves a great shout out. They've been really supportive from the beginning. When we went online, got me all the equipment I needed to learn how to be an audio and video engineer to get our end of year concert going. We were able to go without any interruptions. And this year, we have been able to come back in person safely in stages. Um, and, and like I said, I think they deserve a big shout out. Also, my wife, for all the patience and, uh, uh, that she's shown, Dr. Ruby Wu, I think was kidding when she said she'd leave me if I didn't mention her live on the air. So, <laughs> Well played, Casey. Well played. And uh, we'll have you pass the microphone uh, off to uh, the uh, duck-billed platypus of jazz, uh, saxophonist Tracy Knope. Um, Tracy, it's grad, uh, gra fantastic to have you playing with the trio uh, tonight. Um, interesting uh, uh, to uh, hear you talk about, I was watching your interview with uh, Kareem Candy uh, earlier this year. You were talking about uh, being part of the last generation to get out of college and be able to tour with a big band and get that great experience. This generation certainly lacking that. The big bands aren't touring like they were. What, uh, what advantages might this generation have over your generation though? Well, um, you know, uh, that's, abs that's absolutely true. Um, you know, I wasn't really trained as a teacher. I mean, all my education, you know, was based around performance. Um, with that said, I always had great teachers uh, and lucky enough to have the greatest teachers in the world, both, you know, at Berkeley School of Music and then, of course, on the road with, you know, Buddy Morrow and Buddy Rich and so many people. Um, but I think the advantage um, that these students have, um, who've only gotten to know the last couple of weeks, um, is they're just faster learners. I hmm. think they're smarter than we were when we were kids. They, they know more. They can handle more. They can take on more. Um, certainly, the digital age has helped that in some ways um, during the pandemic um, and been very helpful. Um, but yeah, I just think I just think kids are just so much more students, not kids. These aren't the kids, but they're just so much more capable of 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 what we think they are, um, given the opportunity, knowledge, um, and life's experience, which might be the most important. No. Exactly. Um, I know that uh, you were uh, getting into jazz clubs when you were young. In fact, maybe when you were a little too young. Uh, but that's such an important part of the education part as well as being around players, taking the stage when you can. Uh, can you talk about the importance of just playing and playing and playing? Yeah, well, there, there, there's, there's, there's no replacing it. And it's so encouraging to see these guys playing together out busking. I used to busk when I was lived in Boston. At Christmas time, it's the only way I could eat. Pizza only cost 50 cents a slice then, though. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's just playing in real time with real people is crucial because it's a matter of using your ears and not your eyes. Um, and with a little direction, you know, it's just, it's like, having a conversation like I don't speak very well you might have noticed but <laughs> when I play my saxophone I feel like I, I speak much better um, so it's a much different conversation in language that can only be learned by doing it and speaking it together um, and so yeah and these guys you know they're on their way um, um, but yeah um, again I was very lucky when I was young I played in jazz clubs uh, yes when I was too young um, but the, that community took good care of me, um, and now it's up to you know me and my generation to take 
care of these guys. So that's how that works, I think. Yeah, yeah I, I think that's another great advantage for these kids is having folks like you and Kareem and, uh, and others around to show them the way. If you could pass that uh, microphone off, I'd love to talk to Henry Jacobson behind the piano. Uh, Henry, I would kind of consider you a, a pianist with no borders. Uh, you like to play all kinds of music. You are not strictly a jazz musician. I, I know you're also a composer. What kind of composer are you? Yeah, so um, my experience with jazz is uh, very limited. I learned chord voicings about two weeks ago, but my piano, my classical piano training from my teacher, Anna Tedesco, um, really is I, I tell my buddies I cheat a lot. Well, it's because like classical tra training is basically the root of all music in my opinion. And uh, I'm very fortunate to be classically trained. And with that being said, my music that I compose is also very classical, very new age, uh, a style like Ludvico Naudi, if you will. Um, but yeah, I think that jazz is something that fits my personality best. I really like improv and uh, the, the scales and the music theory behind it just, it, it makes me very happy, so yeah. And Henry, tell us what you enjoy uh, most about playing in the tritone trio, working with uh, Aiden and Ian. Um, well, I could go on and on. I think that <laughs> the three of us get along really well and we each uh, add a different personality to the equation. Um, and, uh, well, we might not be the best at what we do, but we definitely will figure it out. So it's very fun with them. Fantastic. And it, uh, I'd love to speak with uh, Aiden more now, if uh, we can have someone uh, hold his bass upright for him. Um, Aiden and Ian, both uh, School of Jazz guest DJs uh, about a year ago. So uh, I, I know I have a little experience with these cats. Um, Aiden, I know you are, are a multi-instrumentalist and you learned bass to play with this trio. Um, but before we get to that, I, I think you wrote that last song, and when we were working through rehearsal yesterday, it was still untitled. Do we have a title for that song yet? Yes, we, uh, we decided on Glass Houses. I'll take that. That's good. That's, it's very apropos. Uh, and now back to uh, the multi-instrumentalism. Um, Tracy, a saxophonist, could be a wonderful instructor for you, but uh, you're behind the bass. Um, I wonder if those two skills cross over. Does playing saxophone make you a better bassist and vice versa? I think to a certain extent, like I, I had, I was better at walking bass lines when I first started because of my experience. I mean, just like improvising on saxophone because when you're playing a walking bass line, you're, you're constantly improvising your notes. Um, and I think going the other way, playing bass has, has definitely helped with saxophone in terms of having like a, a better sense of groove and uh, rhythmic foundation, I guess, because rhythm is uh, one of the most important parts of bass and it's really important for, for saxophone and other types of improvisation as well. Uh, and I know uh, from your guest DJ experience, you're a fan of modern music, brought in some Jacob Collier, some Kamasi Washington. Uh, I wonder if you could give us adults your thoughts on jazz's future. Oh, that's a, that's a big question. <laughs> but uh, I mean, I think Jacob Collier and, uh, and Kamasi Washington are showing that jazz is sort of moving in more of a an R&B type direction, as well as moving in more of the, what has been the modern jazz direction for the last couple decades. But I think, yeah, the R&B and incorporating more elements of, of soul music and hip hop is really becoming more popular. I think that could continue to be more popular in the future. Yeah, man, sounds good to me, Aiden. Thanks so much. Great to hear you on bass. And if you could pass that microphone over, I'd love to speak with your friend, drummer Ian McCain Pitts. Um, Ian, uh, I know you are a, the senior in the band, a pandemic senior, like a lot of my friends. Uh, I wonder if you could describe for us your year, uh, uh, pandemic year, uh, from the perspective of the jazz band. Uh, well, in general, I think if you ask any senior at any school, they'll tell you it's been a, it's been a rough year um, with the pandemic and everything. Uh, but uh, it's been especially rough for us musicians, um, especially us three who are so into the music program at Bellarmine um, and do, in, do so many extracurriculars regarding that. 
um, it was really rough not being able to do any of that for the first half of the year. Um, we would have jazz assignments every once a week um, that some of us didn't do. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and um, that culminated in uh, one song that we played, that we recorded um, and played for, played for a winter concert this year. Um, so the first half of the year um, was definitely very, very rough for all, all of us musicians. Um, recently it's gotten better. Uh, as Mr. Whitson, Whitson mentioned, we're, uh, we're back to 100% capacity at Bellarmine, which means a full jazz band rehearsal, which is something when we started, we pretty much hadn't had in a, in a year or so. Um, so now that we're back playing, playing again, I'm back playing with these guys again. It's, the year's certainly gotten a lot better and, and all that has definitely helped to uh, keep up motivation for us all to finish out our senior year, keep the year going and just kind of keep on trucking. And I know there's a lot of optimism as we go into the summer. Um, I was uh, speaking with uh, you and Aiden about busking uh, and playing out uh, and gigging. And I wonder if you have any plans to do some more of that this summer. Uh, yeah, definitely, for sure. Um, Aiden and I play with a, a saxophone and a trumpet player. Um, they go to Gig Harbor High School. Um, and sometimes Aiden, uh, Henry plays with us as well. Um, and definitely this summer we're looking to be busking hopefully every weekend, something around there, just as often as we can. We usually play down at Point Ruston in Tacoma, um, and we just bus for a couple hours if the weather's nice, um, play for people that are walking by, and just kind of have a good time. We uh, try to get out, do our thing, make, make our what we love, our passion, uh, kind of into our living as much as we can. Um, and yeah, it's just a good time and I'll be sure to keep you updated on any times we go down to Point Rustin and are busking, Abe. <laughs> yes, please do. And uh, I understand uh, heading off to college in the fall, you will still be in the Northwest. So we'll have your talents around uh, beyond the summer. Yes, I will be attending St. Martin's University, but I'll also be playing probably in a couple other bands around the area, still taking lessons with lots of people and Probably still hanging around Bellarmine, teaching the, the youngins a couple things before I head off somewhere else. <laughs> yes, sir. That's the way it works. Thank you so much, Ian. And uh, one more word with Casey Whitson before we get back to the music. Uh, Casey, that's a talented trio you've got uh, uh, under your tutelage there. I uh, wonder if you could talk about what you're looking ahead to uh, for next year at Bellarmine Prep, your lessons learned. Yeah, uh, well, Abe, lessons learned, I think, are... For, for everybody, we're gonna come out of this whole thing stronger with a lot more tools at our disposal. I can't take any credit for, well, either these kids or any of the great production you see here tonight, but, um, but our tech team has picked up a bunch of tools and I have as well through putting together digital concerts, learning how to do band remotely. And uh, looking forward, I mean, the first thing I think all of us music educators are looking at, especially people who are bringing in middle schoolers to high school or new band people to middle school is recruitment and retention and bringing over the folks who unfortunately fell through the cracks out there. Um, these tools are going to help putting together promotional things, reaching kids where they are. And so that's what I'm looking forward to. Now we're getting great comments uh, from our viewers, our listeners tonight, from Roger and JJ and John and Bill uh, and Rick. Great to hear all of them. Uh, one of them wondering if there is a, a Tritone Trio uh, CD or recordings coming soon. I know folks can uh, check out Tritone Tacoma, uh, TritoneJazzTacoma.com for information. Um, can you give any uh, CD de details? All right. Yes, I can speak to that. So uh, we recently uh, did a album last year and all the profits of that album went to a, a charity that I uh, created a while ago. Um, and that being said, uh, a new album's definitely in the future. I don't think, even though uh, uh, Ian and I will be headed off to college, I don't, I don't think Aiden can get rid of us that easily. So <laughs> I think uh, an album is definitely in our future. If not more, we're, we'll definitely be friends for hopefully life, so yeah. Thank you. Thank you for that, Henry. And Mr. Whitson deserves some credit. He, yeah, yeah. Let's get the credit. microphone back. And, uh, 
in Casey's hands as we uh, put the musicians back behind the instruments. Um, Casey, it's great to speak with all of you. I know we're going to be hearing you on trumpet a little bit later. Um, would you like to introduce this next song for us? It's uh, there with, oh, Night in Tunisia. Yeah. Lost. Yeah, I know. I'm out of here. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, Night in Tunisia, Dizzy Gillespie. Thank you. 
Well, that was beautiful. Errol Garner's Misty from the Bellarmine Prep Tritone Trio. Henry Jacobson at the piano. Aiden Moore at the bass. Ian McCain Pitts drumming. Uh, we've got uh, an encore song for you next. We're going to wrap up this uh, show with a full quintet with their mentor Tracy Knope on saxophone and Bellarmine Prep's band director Casey Whitson on trumpet. There will never be another you on the School of Jazz.
KNKX School of Jazz. What a night. With their mentor, Tracy Knope on saxophone and their band director, Casey Whitson on trumpet. That's the Tritone Trio from the Bellarmine Prep Jazz Band. Henry Jacobson, Aidan Moore, and Ian McCain Pitts at the piano, bass, and drums. Just wonderful. Thanks, fellas. Really appreciate it. Check out more online at tritonejazztacoma.com. Perfect for weddings, corporate events, private parties. You, uh, you'll find out how to support all these musicians on the slideshow coming up shortly. And remember that your support of KNKX makes our School of Jazz possible. Thanks to you, the SOJ continues into its 15th year. Even in a pandemic, we are so proud of our continued commitment to providing mentorship and performance opportunities to music programs across Western Washington and how it strengthens our connection to the musical community. Don't miss our School of Jazz guest DJ series the first Thursday of every month at 7 p.m. Next up is Ingram High saxophonist Sam Yanio, June 3rd. Much more on the School of Jazz page at knkx.org. And we have more KNKX virtual events coming soon, including a virtual session with the Brubeck Brothers, tribute to their dad, Dave, right before Father's Day in June. Later this summer, we're bringing you our member appreciation concert with guitarist Dan Wilson and the Christian McBride Trio. Thanks again to Tracy Canope, the Tritone Trio, and all the talented musicians at Bellarmine Prep, and of course, the band's director, Casey Whitson. Thanks also to uh, sound engineer, John Pitts, Bellarmine's visual team, Daniel Gray and Craig Kubert, getting lots of compliments on uh, how the session looked tonight, fellas. And on the KNKX tech team, Justin Steyer, Parker Blome, and Adrian Flores. To our staff photographer, Tom Collins, and thanks to promotions director, Brenda Goldstein-Young, for making the School of Jazz swing. Big thanks to the School of Jazz sponsors, Alaska Airlines and BECU. And look for tonight's performance on the KNKX YouTube channel very soon. And feel free to share. I'm Abe Beeson. Thanks so much and goodbye.